this has to be the biggest Zara and Zara home haul I've ever done. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can tell we've got a Zara haul today and yeah it's pretty ginormous so grab yourself a nice cozy drink, get comfy, relax and I will show you everything that I've been buying. This kind of is a bit of a insight into what I had in mind with this haul. So sweater weather, this mug is one that I've had for a couple of years now. I've got a pucker three cinnamon tea today. So with Zara I had very much in mind comfy loungewear cozy season incoming and then Zara home I got so many amazing sale finds like great discounts as well so I'll talk you through all the items as well as the pricing but be sure to check them out in the description box all the links will be left below for everything that is still on stock online sale prices as well with Zara as well they always tend to drop them even further although some of these I can't imagine them going even further they were that cheap so um let's start with actually just uh, just literally a couple of items that I got from Abercrombie because again I wanted to mention these whilst they're in the sale these t-shirts that I've been loving um well just for around the house I've just gotten some little shorts with it but they're quite oversized on me because I got them from the men's section and in a large and I have been living in this t-shirt it was reduced in the sale to 10 pounds but then at the time i bought them there was an extra 15 percent off everything i think it was site wide so yeah like nine pounds so i just picked up a couple of other bits to um add to that because like i said i have been getting my wear out of them they're so incredibly soft they're called the vintage inspired tea so they've got a bit of kind of distressing around the edges can you see that kind of washed look as well so i got this colour, which is similar to the one that I've got on now, but just slightly darker. That one I've got in a large. Then I also got this colour, because I'm loving blue at the minute. I always just think, I don't know, I think the blue brings out the blue in my eyes. So I have been gravitating towards it. And this one is the same, but in blue in a large. And then I also got in a medium. This is from the same range. It's still that vintage inspired, the oversized fit with the slightly distressed edging. But it is just plain white. In fact, there's not even that much of the kind of distressed edging it's just basically the similar sort of fabric so i went for a medium in this one because i thought a boxy a basic white tee would be quite handy to have and then lastly from abercrombie i also picked up a very cozy again from the men's section because their hoodies and sweatshirts from the men's wear amazing so i got this one in an extra large to be nice and oversized this is going to be like an everyday super super cozy i have a few i might even put them on depop let me know if any of you would be interested in buying them because there's nothing wrong with them they're my adenola sweats that i'm thinking i don't know maybe do we do a one in one out policy i've also got some anina bings although i do like this one this one's just a little bit too long for me i think and that's everything that i got from abercrombie so i'll start with this item from zara home just because it's literally sat right next to me i can kind of take it downstairs now that i've shown it to you but it's a big double bin from Zara Home. I wanted to get this because it matches a couple of other things that we've got in our pantry area of this like kind of cream finish. And we've got like open shelf storage in there from Zara Home. I got this because I thought it'd be quite handy to have um, Barney's food storage in here. It's separated into two compartments. So it could obviously be good like little recycling bin, but I'm thinking, yeah, big tub for Barney's food. And then maybe treats in the other section or some bits and bobs, like packeted stuff rather than loose food in there. That one wasn't in the sale. I kind of wish it was because it was quite spenny, but it matches everything else that I've got in there. So yeah, I'm going to quickly take this downstairs for it out of the way. Okay, I guess we'll stick with the Zara home items soon as though I've started on them. Let me just pull up the prices for everything so I don't get this wrong. <laughs> this is the most random thing and you won't expect it from Zara Home, but they've got a whole sports section of which they've got some really kind of gorgeous, aesthetic, kind of like sportswear stuff. Quite expensive though. But anyway, I saw these whilst I was looking on there. It's just a pack of three uh, shuttlecocks, and we were talking about getting like a little badminton set for in our garden. So I saw these, it was 7 dollars so pretty similar prices to like on Amazon and things like that. Now they had some gorgeous, uh, badminton rackets as well but they were quite expensive so for the same price I got a pair rather than what 
the price of one would be individually on Zara. But obviously, they come in a nice Zara bag if you did want the more expensive ones. But I just went for Amazon ones. So again, I'll leave these ones linked um, and I'll pop them on my Amazon storefront if you want to refer back to them. But I just went for a plain black and white. If ever we fancy a little game of badminton, we're good to go. Next up, I got this stone bowl. And this is, I hope I show you close up, very textured. It's also slightly regular in shape, so it, it kind of goes up. I thought this, styled up on a coffee table, um, maybe on some coffee table books, would be really nice with that trend that I've seen that people are doing with like black and white Polaroids just sat in a little dish on a table um, or a little key bowl by an entryway. Originally $49.99, which I don't think I would have paid 50 quid for this, uh, but it was in the sale for 15 pounds, so yeah. Again, another incredibly random purchase. It is a anti-slip rug, but it's like just this kind of like burlap fabric. So there are a few different sizes. I thought this would be good even just for the fabric itself because it was so affordable and because it's an anti-slip rug, it's only very thin. This one is 150 by 220 centimeters. It originally was 39.99 but in the sale for a fiver. So yeah, I just grabbed this, like I said, even if it's for the fabric that I use and I can cut up and use for like some DIYs and stuff, for this size, incredible. I mean, yeah, let me just show you how big it actually is. Then I am actually thinking of getting some kind of rug, so you can just cut it to size, but some kind of rug in the kitchen, maybe either in the pantry, because that's on hard floor, I would need an anti-slip rug, so that would come in handy for that. This is something, unfortunately, they've actually incorrectly sent. So this is what I actually ordered. There's an image of it on this little box. It's a wooden, like an acacia wood um, honey jar with the actual honey thing attached to the lid so that it just is always in there. However, they've sent in this box, um, well, this actually. So what they've done is obviously they've stickered these boxes up wrong um, because they've sent over this. I'm not how sh sure how much this would be. Should I see if I can find it? I paid 19.99 for what I thought was this the honey one. Oh, there it is. Same price, 19.99. That's just annoying though, isn't it? I ordered two of these. I'm just gonna put one down. A wall light, which I've ordered for our garage. We needed two wall lights to go either side of our garage doors. And these fit perfectly with the other lights that we've got externally, but obviously, because they're on the front of the house, I thought Zara home ones. However, they were in the sale as well. This is a good, a good bargain. From 80 pounds, 80 each, of which I got two, uh, but they were reduced down to 19.99. So yeah, I was very, very happy with that purchase. And I did show Tom before and he was like, yeah, grab them quick before they sell out. I got this cozy water bottle. It comes with this faux Sherling cover, which is just the softest, coziest thing ever. And again, this is a great sale find from reduced from 40 pounds down to 9.99. So yeah, grab that. And also this would make a good little gift. I'm thinking, I'm already starting to think about my Christmas gift guides. I know it seems very early, but I like to collate a few things, especially if there's anything that needs to be made, whatever, and um, yeah, gift guides. So if there's any small businesses out there or any small businesses that you know of, whether you own them or not, or any good ideas and suggestions that are a bit different, something that I've never recommended or suggested before, send over your suggestions on Instagram. Speaking of cozy, I also got this gigantic uh, like faux fur throw. The only thing is it's a lot grayer than I thought it would be, like more cool toned, although I do love it. This was reduced from 100 pounds down to 39.99. Oh my God, it's so thick and heavy and cozy, I love it. But yeah, is it a bit too cool toned? I'll try it on our sofa and see how it goes. I did get one other throw and I thought this would be a good layering throw for on the spare bed. So I've currently got a throw already on there, but I thought like our bedroom, we have two throws layered and I really like that layering. So I grabbed this one again as a sale find. This one was reduced from 50 pounds down to 19.99. And it's just a simple thin cotton throw with the kind of like frayed edging. Also got a couple of cloths. Now I, some of my favorite cleaning cloths are actually Zara Home. 
which seems bougie, but I've only ever bought them in the sale. So, you know, justified. And this floor cloth, I, it describes itself as a floor cloth, but it just looks like a really thick, what I'm thinking, even just using it as like a bit of a tea towel. Um, it's got a slight border to it, but otherwise it's quite a thick cloth to use. Now this one was in the sale from 15 99 down to a fiver. So yeah, grab that. And then I also got these two pack of napkin and placemats. I don't actually know if I'm going to keep this because when it's arrived, it's far more bluey and I don't really have any colours like this. Although, again, for the fabric, that would make a cute little uh, dog collar. A little bandana for Barney. I <laughs> just saw that and thought, oh, a little cosy autumn bandana for the dog. Right, let me see how much I paid for this. Okay, it was reducing the sale from 10.99 down to 5.99 for the set. And then this comes with um, this, which is like a little placemat. Lastly from Zara Home, I actually got some of their clothing. Firstly, this long sleeve top. Now Zara Home clothing seems to be quite a lot more expensive than Zara clothing. So this long sleeve top, it's a really gorgeous fabric. I think that's what it is. It's always in their fabrics. With it being Zara Home, it's more loungewear, sleepwear. So it's super, super soft. Now this is just a simple white long sleeve top. It's in a medium. And this was originally, you're not gonna believe this. I mean, it is great quality, but seriously, 70 pounds. It was in the sale for 19.99, but I thought because it was full price so high, I thought let me try it out for the quality, and it does feel lovely. So it's whether or not I would pay 19. I think I would, you know, because uh, you don't have to wear this as sleepwear. It's kind of semi sheer, I would say though. And then I've got two pairs of trousers to try and compare between the two. Although if I like them both, they were both reduced to 5.99 each, and again full price. These were 40 pounds each, so quite a big saving. This one. Off the bat feels softer and this one feels thicker. Um, they're both in a large, that's the only thing, because they didn't have any mediums, it's whether or not they'll fit. But they come with a drawstring, so I thought I'd be able to really cinch in the waist. And they're only ever gonna be comfy round the house trousers anyway. So I will try them. Wow, they're really, <laughs> they look pretty big. But I will try them. Um, should we try them on now actually? I've got like a double band, can you see? Okay, here we go. This is the top. It's actually not as sheer as I thought. I have just got a little triangle bra on underneath um, in like a neutral colour anyway. But yeah, this is the top. Very, very cosy. The bottoms, they are a little big for me, obviously with them being a size too big. But for pyjamas and for around the house, I want comfort and these are comfort. I'll try on these other ones just for comparison, but yeah, these are the ones that feel softer, but thinner, and I've just realized there's no adjustable waist on these, so these probably are gonna have to go back with them being too big, which is a real shame because they are such a bargain. Yeah, as expected, they are a little big, and they sit just probably a bit too low um, because they are big, they don't stay up. But again, for comfort, for sleeping in, <laughs> I would totally sleep in these, and I'm thinking maybe even keep them as in-bed pyjamas. Walking around the house and doing bits and bobs, probably the other ones, but for sleeping in, in winter, this is so comfy. It kind of feels like you're not wearing anything. Let's try on some Zara clothes now. I'm gonna get, there's lots of sets, so like co ward sets, cozy, loungewear, a bit of colour as well. Let's pick a colourful set out and I'll show you that on first. Told you there was some colour. I'm feeling very Barbie in this set, but I feel like pink is, is I'm warming to it. I always used to think before the whole Barbie saga came out and it became a trend that like, oh, pink makes me look Barbie with having blonde hair and it doesn't suit me. However, if it's a really light pastel like this one is, maybe I am a fan. Anyway, the trousers I got in a medium, I love the shape of these trousers. They're kind of like a barrel legged um, and nice and loose at the bottom. So they're not, you know, some joggers that have the tight ankle just makes them more comfy. And they've got like a darting down the middle as well. So these are, in a medium and they were 22.99 the top was only 17.99 so even just on its own 
you can mix and match these. Um, this little sweater I'd wear with just jeans as well. I did size up to a large in it. This is it untucked, but I would tuck it into whatever trousers I'm wearing or sometimes I tuck it into like my bra like that. And then again at $17.99, I also got the t-shirt to go with it. It's a slightly thicker, darker pink, I think this one. I did have to get it in large. I don't think they had a medium and I didn't want a small because I just want that slightly boxier fit with this one. So yeah, it's called faded as well. So it's kind of, it's not just like one color. Can you see there's a bit of fading to it so yeah i've got this one for 17.99 now this lounge set is a little bit different it would be nice transitionally because it, obviously the top is more of a t-shirt but very very soft and lightweight again i would feel so so comfortable wearing this around the house all day but it kind of looks like you could maybe even dress it up like it looks quite smart with this the way that the top is, I think that's what makes it. But again, you could mix and match, so you could just wear this top with maybe rather than the same bottoms with some jeans and even throw on some heels. Um, but yeah, I really like the color of it. Again, a bit more of a colorful selection for me in this kind of cool toned, washed blue color. This one was, I got both in a medium. I would say the trousers size a little big, so don't size up in them. Um, but the and it's also elastic it's not you can't um cinch it in at all both in a medium the top was 19.99 and the bottom's 22.99 so i think pretty reasonably priced this set right we go back to our comfort zone now there's lots of car keys creams blacks grays <laughs> coming up just before i change out of these i've just realized what this look reminds me of i feel like either a nurse or a beautician and I don't know if that's put me off it. Does it look too much like a uniform? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Okay, we found one finally that I've decided I'm gonna return. And it's not necessarily the look of it. I do quite like the look of this set. It's a two piece again, so you can mix and match, but the bottoms have this kind of like flap of fabric here, which makes it look like as a two piece, more of a jumpsuit. So the material as well, it feels more evening rather than a comfy soft cozy so i am going to send this one back and also the trousers are too small for me i did get them in a medium so i would definitely size up in these um because they're just they're too tight and the uh, annoyingly this is by far the cheapest set so the top was only 9.99 so i think again this top sort of with a nice midi skirt jeans again could look quite nice it was only 9.99 in a medium bottoms in a medium at 12.99 this next set is in anthracite gray so it's like a really nice charcoal um dark gray and it comes with the joggers which i got i think i got these in a large let me just check yeah they were in a large so they didn't have a medium but i'll check for a medium actually do you know what a large because you can cinch them in and because I'm only going to be wearing them as comfy around the house, they're not massively too big for me. So maybe I will keep the large. And then the top to go with it is definitely something that I would wear with leggings, like quite regularly or um, around the house as like a matching set. This would be a good little travel outfit as well. Again, it's not tight on the bottom, these ones, which are nice and comfortable. The top I did get in a medium. The top was $19.99, bottom's $22.99. Whilst I've just got this set on, I thought I would show you some, a couple of jackets I've got as well. This I love. It's so incredibly soft. It's like a kind of gilet. I don't know if I would wear it with this set. Maybe I would, but I'm, I don't know if I'm liking these sleeves. Maybe I'd tighter sleeves or longer sleeves so that it goes all the way down. But anyway, in winter especially, or, to, or really like cozy autumn days, this on like a dog walk, I could wear it just casually. So comfy. This was in a new in section, like brand, brand new. I think they had other colors as well, but this one's like a kind of, what do they call it? Ecru. Um, in a medium, I got this one. And this one was 59.99. So a bit more of an investment piece. Definitely, definitely keeping this. I also got something quite similar, more in a jacket form. They actually have quite a few different varieties of this kind of like quilted pattern, this quilted design. So the color of this one I love, again, they had other colors, but I thought this uh, gray would make a nice addition to what I already own for my kind of like autumn winter jackets. I know I'm gonna wear this so much. And I thought this color would be practical as well for, um, for the dog walks, 
for every day, throwing a jacket on, running out the house, got big pockets for my vlogging camera, my phone, so like I would just throw this on to go to the shops in to get some content for you guys as well. But I just love this. So this is in a medium, I would say, depends how oversized you want it, but a medium fits me. I wouldn't say it's massively oversized on me, it's just a nice comfortable fit. So medium at 69.99 this one. Right, then I've got this jacket, it's kind of like a cropped jacket. I don't know if it's cropped at the right place for me, but because it's so oversized, it's not like it clings to my hips or anything. But yeah, it does cut me off at my widest point, so I don't know about this one. Um, it was 35.99, I love the colour of it though, it's like a washed khaki, well more like a sage green colour, um, in a medium. I do like it. I, I, <sighs> Again, I'm undecided. Okay, next up we've got this jacket, this kind of dark khaki green short trench. It does come with a hood as well. It's quite a big hood, so good for like, you know, when it is actually raining. But, um, oh, I do like this one. Oh, I was kind of hoping I wouldn't like it because like I said, it's a jacket, it's full price and it's, I do like it, it's different to anything I already have. And it is slightly, ever so slightly longer at the back, but then shorter at the front. So again, for like leggings, I would be comfortable. This one was 69.99 and I got it in a medium. I would say it's quite oversized already, but it is a cropped, well not cropped, but it is a, a shorter coat. Probably a bit of a rookie error ordering this because I've got it and I love it and I don't have an occasion for it. <laughs> It's basically a satin slip kind of midi dress, but with a bit more interest, a bit more detail. It's got the gathered waist here that helps to cinch it in, but also the neckline is kind of like semi cowl neck, but also like a twisted rope kind of design. It's in the shade, they call it the color Carver. I would say it describes it quite well as like a champagne silver. So yeah, it's kind of, it's not metallic, it's just a satin, but that, champagne -y kind of colour just makes it look a little, a little metallic. I really like this. It's 35 99 little date night number, going to a nice fancy restaurant, going out for some drinks, um, an occasion, a christening or something like that would be quite nice for. Uh, probably not wedding appropriate, wedding guest appropriate. Right, this set I'm going to send back just purely because as much as I love the top I don't love the bottoms and obviously I could just keep the top that could be a, an option but it's like a polo shirt um lounge set so obviously you've got the top with the how do they call it they explain it as a rustic plush so it's got really kind of like distressed edging but I don't like how low the bottoms sit I would prefer high-waisted bottoms I also don't think they're that flattering and I also don't like that you can see the pockets so they're a little bit they're very comfy and a lovely fabric, but I just, I prefer some of the others. So the bottoms were $25.99 and the top was um, in a medium, both in a medium at $29.99. Right, this set I actually really like. I love the color of it for one. I love the oversized fit. Again, versatility to mix and match with this one. Probably more so the top, as in like I would wear the top quite a lot. Um, but yeah, the bottoms are nice and high-waisted, comfortable. They've got little pockets on the back, just very comfy. And I quite like the look of it, just like untucked as well. But obviously if you wanted to tuck in the t-shirt, it is stretchy and gathered, so you can't cinch these bottoms in. So I got them, I got them in a medium and I would say, yeah, stay true to size because there's quite a bit of room in this as well. 25 99 for the bottoms and for the top, which I got in a medium, at uh, 19 99 I have another one to try on next, but I'm not sure on the colour. So it's obviously a grey, but it's got a slight purpley tint to it and I think that's what's throwing me off. Also, I'm not necessarily a fan of these. I, th I feel like I prefer some of the others. So both the pieces I got in a medium, can you see they're quite like a barrel legged bottom with quite a wide, um, how would you describe it? How do they describe it? Balloon fit trouser, yeah. So both in a medium. And then the top is like a bit more fitted, but then it's got quite big slits on either side. So I don't even necessarily think I would wear these as separates. So I am gonna return this one, but the top was 15.99 and the bottoms 
were 25.99 i've got these bottoms to show you i am going to send these back they're a lovely fabric and i like the color of them but they're just they don't fit me very well and um, they're not quite as high waist enough at the back and they just they have these like cargo style pockets which i just they kind of flap out a bit. I, d I just don't think they suit my shape i think you've got to be a bit more straight to wear these ones but they are 25.99 um in a medium i got them but yeah i'm gonna return those the top however i do love um, and i remember ordering it but i can't it's not on my order form so i don't know uh how much it is if i can find it i'll leave it linked so that you can see but it is a lovely top i remember they had it in black as well so i do remember looking at it but very bizarre that it's not on my order form. You can wear it more like a t-shirt here and then just have it as like a really deep plunge at the front. I think this would be really nice with um, jeans and a nice top type outfit. Unfortunately, this is probably one of those situations of what was I thinking? These harem style bullet, like they're just, no. They're so comfy. I will give them that, but the top that goes with it, I don't like. I don't like the cut of it and don't quite get on me at all um they are comfy like i said they'd actually be quite nice to do like yoga in you know like more of a slow yoga 25.99 in a medium for the rustic baggy trousers and then the top to go with it was 19.99 this was in a large but it's definitely i would not class this as a large at all uh, so if you do happen to like this maybe even without the bottoms just as a top with some jeans then yeah don't maybe size up don't definitely don't size down but yeah i don't i look there's plenty that i need to return so this will just i'm not going to overthink it and talk myself into these trousers but i'm just gonna return that is everything that i got a whopper mammoth of a haul but if you made it to the end let me know by giving me a thumbs up subscribing for more and don't forget all the links will be left in the description box if you do want to check anything out yourself hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys